Hi, I'm Anthony Pascarella. And I'm Gino Pascarella, and we are the Pascarella Brothers. Today, we'll be making some stuffed zucchini. So it's a very simple and delicious dish you guys can use as an appetizer. It's light, it's healthy, let's go to work. First step, you take the stem, you nip the tip. Nip the tip. Okay. Nip the tip. And you cut the zucchini exactly in half. That'll give you a nice little base for our next step. Okay, now we're gonna scoop out the inside, uh, the meat, you can call it. We call it the guts. The guts. The guts. I like the guts. And we're gonna discard some and we're gonna save some as part of our filling. And you wanna create a nice little base that way when it gets stuffed. It's actually full. We got nice stuffed zucchini loaded with all the goodness. Like that. Once we have these lovely zucchini canoes, which you have to blanch them. We have a pot of hot water boiling on the stove. Just take them and drop them right in. While these cool down, we can prepare the rest of the ingredients for the filling. The next step for the filling, we're gonna cut the tomatoes. First step, take the knife and you wanna cut out the core. Nice and easy, on an angle, while turning the tomato, not the knife, turning the tomato so the blade's always facing down for safety precautions, take out the core. Lovely. Face and face. That's the first step for the tomato. Okay, I'm just going to dice up some of these uh, zucchini guts. Where we come from, they're actually called cagoots. So, southern Italy, maple dialect, it's not zucchini. Goods. And at the same time, while he's prepping that, I'm going to finish prepping the tomatoes by dicing the tomatoes into smaller pieces. Okay, now we're going to prep the rest of the ingredients. Uh, Gino's got some basil he's going to shift it on. We're going to chop some parsley. And the garlic, I mean, everyone's got their own way to do the garlic. Uh, for something like this, again, you want to bring the flavor out. This you can mince. Now with the basil, especially this time of year, as we come close to summer, sometimes you may have a garden. Fresh garden basil is delicious. It really adds flavor to this dish. That's actually how this dish came about. At the end of the season, most gardeners, especially growing up Italian in New Jersey, there's a surplus in everyone's garden. With basil is a creative way to uh, use everything and it tastes good and it's healthy. Um, another variation, not ours, um, some people put some ground beef in there. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to keep it nice, fresh, and light. It's also gluten-free. You now we can add the rest of our ingredients. Grated cheese. For the, uh, the salt and pepper, the grated cheese, it's a little hard to give you an exact measurement. Um, it's gotta be by taste. You have to taste your food. Um, going by the size of the tomatoes, they retain a lot of water. So you might need more or less. Same with the zucchini, they might retain a lot of water. So it all depends on what you put in. Next step, once you get the ingredients in the bowl, you gotta add a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil. Just a touch. Add some shredded. Asiago. You can really use anything. I mean, growing up, we didn't really have Asiago available. It was imported provolone or Reggiano. Reggiano, something a little more pungent. Then after that, you get some uh, breadcrumbs. We're actually using the gluten-free breadcrumbs to keep this dish gluten-free, but you can use any sort of breadcrumbs. Now this you're going to put in. Then as we uh, put it in, we're going to keep mixing it. Like we said earlier, because of the tomatoes and how much water they hold, may need to add a little more breadcrumbs just to keep the mixture firm. Let's stuff these babies. Get room? I got one. Okay, now we can lay all these babies into our pan. Um, again, we use what we have. We have a lumen pan. Uh, I like Pyrex. Next step, right before it goes in the oven, just want to add a little more breadcrumbs on top for the final seasons. 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 Like Frankie Valley. <laughs> and the four seasons. These are just finishing touches. Finishing touches, just to uh, enhance your bit dish. Cheese. You don't want to bury all the pretty stuff on top. And the yeah. final touch, just a little drizzle of olive oil on top. Just a touch. 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. Ready? Oh man, that was beautiful. So 
So this is a great, easy summer recipe. Um, so you can use ingredients you already have. So you don't have to throw everything away or give everything away for stuff you worked so hard for. So enjoy this dish and stay tuned for more dishes to follow. You can check us out on Facebook at Pasquarella Brothers Delicatessen or follow us on YouTube with the rest of these recipes to come. Thanks, have a great day.